In working with online assessments, we want students to be familiar with the testing platform. There are tutorials such as this one that show students how to answer particular item types and how to navigate the tools within the system itself. This is really important to understand how the system works and what the tools are doing. That's really not enough though to reveal the kind of work the mind has to do to be able to answer the questions. Being fluent with the tools means that the student is using the tools with purpose in order to decide how to help them navigate their working memory, how to make sure they're monitoring their comprehension so that when it comes time to look at the questions, they have a full understanding of the text in its entirety to be able to answer the questions. Now, here's the first thing we need to think about. Many kids are taught to read the questions first and then seek and find where the answers are in the text. Part of that causes a problem. You see right here that we have eight different questions that students would be reading and trying to keep in front of their working memory. That's too much. They're already filling up the spots in their working memory with the questions before they've even processed what the text is about. In addition, most of the information that you see here isn't something that you can simply look in the text and find what this sentence is and why the author would use it. In other words, you have to understand the passage, the genre, the author's purpose as an entire unit to be able to make the decisions here. So that's one of the reasons we would use the hide and reveal feature. This gives the reader an entire focus on the passage itself so they can begin keeping the idea that understanding the passage first is what gives them the ability to succeed when the questions are considered. The other element that's important about using the hide and reveal text is what it does to the text itself. And it depends on what you need as a reader. If I hide the questions and look at this passage about keeping the city of Venice afloat, something happens to the text. The lines themselves are a lot longer that we have here. I'm going to turn the line reader tool on so you can see how much longer they are when we toggle between the hide and reveal feature. I have a much shorter line to read here than I do whenever I reveal the entire text. Notice also the wonkiness of the features that the line reader tool turns off as I move from one element to the other. This can be very frustrating to a student who's trying to use the line reader as a placeholder so that they can return to the piece of text that they're wanting to reference for the answer to the question. So as a reader, there are some things that happen whenever they look at a text like this. Sometimes if the line is really long, students get frustrated and confused between the elements of the sentences. This one right here, whenever I use the line reader tool, it's much easier for me to focus on one line here instead of that long line of the other one. 